today's tutorial, we're going to be using layer masks. So the project these Graphic Design 2 students are working on, start with a figure. This came from the website Pexels, which is royalty-free photos. I selected the figure using a selection mask. I placed it in its own layer in a new document. The next thing I'm going to do is from a tutorial that I found on Adobe Create. I'm going to use a sing the single column marquee tool on the figure layer to select a line where I can get the most color and variation. So I'm going to go somewhere around here. Now it's so thin that I, we can't even see where that line is, but I'm going to do Command C to copy, right? Take a single row of pixels what is what I just did. And I'm going to create a new layer right above the figure and I'm going to do a Command V paste. So I just pasted that single row of pixels and you can see that selection is there now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Shift and Option and I'm going to stretch that single row of pixels out. Now you might not see anything when you do the stretch, but when you double click to apply the transformation, the colors will pop out. So the more colorful your object is, the, the more fun you'll have with this. I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to slip it back a little bit or behind it. So this is a great way to create a background that has color variation that is complementary to the figure that you're trying to highlight. Something you could do with this layer too then, this was in the tutorial, you can go to the filter menu and choose, um, oh boy, which one was it? Distort and go to polar coordinates. With this one, I can, let me zoom out so you can see it happen, I can turn this into um, a circular or some other kind of cool effect here which is the polar to rectangular. I'm going to go with the circular one, I kind of like that one, and I'm going to hit OK and you're going to see it's going to go into a circle. So there's a few things that I can do with this, right? Let's say that I wanted to have the color only be in this space here. So I'm going to create what's called a layer mask on this layer. Um, I'm going to, I'm on my, my polar coordinate layer. Let me kind of stretch this up a little bit. And I'm going to click on this icon right here. This icon refers to um, the, a layer mask. So I just put a layer mask on this layer. And if you notice when I did that, my color switched to black and white. In the mask mode, I take my paintbrush let me get a standard circular brush here just for this beginning part. I'm going to take my circular brush here. The brackets next to the letter P make your brush smaller. That's what I'm doing here. And I'm in mask mode now, right? I'm in, I'm in mask, erase. So if I'm on this side and I, I just painted a black dot, right? Because that's the color I've got there. If I'm in mask mode, right? You see how it keeps switching. I can use black to subtract from my mask. I'm sorry, to subtract from whatever was on that layer. And then if I decided that I didn't, you know, maybe I don't want it, I do want part of it there, I could always switch back to white and bring it back. Now the fun part about this is you can use any brushes to do this in. So right now, it's like I'm hiding. So the black is hiding parts of this layer and the white would bring it back. But any brushes will work here. So let's say I went and grabbed, here's my go-to, like these paint splatters from, from Brush King, right? These are awesome. Um, let me switch back to black. And if I did something like this, ooh, that's actually very cool. Um, we go to white. That's right. White's bringing it back. Let's do that. And you could get some really cool color effects by adding and subtracting from different layers using these masks. So one of the requirements of the project is I want you to experiment with subtracting and adding to and from the figure. So here I'm in the layer of the figure. I'm going to create that mask again and I'm going to subtract from the mask using brushes. So I'm going to take my brush tool and I'm switching to black. Um, now, it's key here that you don't use the same brush over and over in the same size, right? That you experiment with variation of the brush. So let's say I chose this brush. Let me go to my brushes, right? This gives me much more freedom to be able to see what it is. I'm using single instances of the brush. And this way I can rotate it and kind of get it to be the size or shape that I want it to be. Now, I'm on the layer of the figure. So when I use black right now, it's going to subtract from my figure a little bit. So I can kind of work that, that type of effect. You can see the, the, the background, that other layer that's there is still, is still visible. So maybe I would use a variety of shapes, right, a variety of brushes here to subtract from my figure. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add to my figure. So I'm going to use a variety of sizes, a variety of shades. I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with where I'm taking away. Um, these brushes are very cool because they have various opacities that I can, you know, there's, there's value to these brushes. I, ju I just love these brushes. 
Okay, so the next thing we do is I'm going to create another layer here. Let me double click on it to name that layer. This is going to be my brush layer. I want to add a layer of brushes above everything else. So I'm going to take my brush tool and I'm going to use my eyedropper and pick up some colors that are actually in the piece here. Like, let's say I'm going to zoom in here. Let's say around her blue. Let's go pick up like the blue of her dress here. Right? I'm going to pick up a blue color from her dress. And remember that you can click around a few times to pick up different variations of the color. And I'm going to take my brush tool and I want to go and I'm going to grab um, a different brush here. I actually want to rotate this a little bit and I can't see how what the rotation looks like so I got to flip over to here, right? Spacing refers to if I was like brushing along they would be that far but I'm just doing a single instance of the brush so this is, is going to be just fine. Okay, I'm good with that. I've got my brush. Um, it's actually really big. I'm going to make it smaller. Here it comes. And I'm gonna, I have this blue color. And so if I come into this, like, let's say this white space right here, I can add that blue brush. So what I would do with that layer then is I'm going to go and play with my modes and let that blend in an interesting way. Ooh, see how it kind of blends? You can see the very edge of her dress. That's a cool and dark. And remember that mix. Um, and I'd go down. Maybe there's something else that kind of does a cool color effect. So it almost like, I, I want it to almost look like there's an extension of the figure here. That's going to have to be up in this upper section here. Yeah, I love that. And then zoom out a little bit. So the idea here is that you're adding from the figure and you're adding to the figure and subtracting from the figure with multiple layers using these masks. Now, I still don't have a background, so let me go into the background. I'm going to sample a color. Okay, I love this. I like this blue color. I'm going to kind of bring that back. If I put this color in my back, right, this would be like my background color. If I erased on this white layer, let's say I erased on this white layer, it's going to be blue, right? So what I'm going to do, is this is a keyboard shortcut. Command delete fills a selection or a layer, if you don't have a selection, in with whatever color you choose. So I just added that in there. Or I could be even more fancy. Let me grab a gradient. Okay, so this is my gradient. I grabbed my gradient tool. I went into the gradient modifier. The first one here is the two colors I already have in my toolbar, right? If I wanted to add colors, let's say I wanted to move this blue over and I want to add a beige, I could double click there and I could choose a color from here or I can come up into here and pick a color. Let's say I chose that. Here's different gradient options up here. I'm just going to do like a, actually, yeah, I'm going to go with that. And let's see what happens when I pull across. Get some really cool color changes. All right, so the goal of this project is to have brushes that you are adding to the figure with. Those brushes should have modes on them. Subtracting from the figure using masks. And the separate tutorial that you followed, or I did go through it at the beginning of this one, on creating the, that pixel rush. Now, you could also go to this layer. I could also go to this layer and say, um, you know what, I'm going to create a layer above that layer that I want to use brushes in. And I'm going to use the colors that are here. Let's say I pick up a brown. I got my paintbrush. I'm just going to use this one for demonstration's sake and let that kind of balance out the composition by bringing some of the color and interest into the other portion of the piece. That looks like coffee stains. Kind of cool. Okay? So in that way you can get some really cool texture. And I may or may not have asked you to turn this into an advertisement. So the, the logical place for a logo to go would in the, be in the bottom right corner, right? Okay. So there you have um, masking within a layer. Uh, something else that I might ask you to do along with this project is to create a screenshot. On the Mac, Command-Shift-4 gives you a, um, a crosshair here. And I really am just interested in the project itself and the layers panel, unless I ask for more. I just took a picture. It is now on my desktop. And you can save that to the Dropbox or print it if that's what I asked you to do. So thanks for watching. See you next time.